In this video I'm going to share how to print screen to Google Slides and a little bit about the Windows clipboard history. And the reason I'm doing it is simply because I found a very, very fast way, as you can see on screen with the images, that I can print screen and get them into Google Slides really or really quickly. And for me, when I was doing the Google Earth Studio learning thing, I produced about 32 videos and you can see in this screen shot there's about 185 different slides there that I've, most of them with the images, are literally screenshot, clip, paste. Simple as that. So how do we actually get there? Because it's a, a pretty easy thing to do. So 1 to 5 on screen is um, number 1 is have something arranged on screen. Sounds simplistic but I'll tell you why I'm making the video really. Press the print screen button. Look for this thing at the top select something with a mouse control V anywhere you like including of course the web version of Google Slides which is pretty interesting so as an example uh, top left we'll have the White Cliffs of Dover I was just looking at some images what I've done there really quickly is gone print screen drag control V and it's done on the bottom right image for those people who may be working a different way including me a little while ago you would normally have to open this image uh, usually in a new tab, then check to see how big it is, then save it, um, and then it's saved on your desktop. This thing here of print screen, drag area, control V is pretty quick. So what you'll find there is old school, is that if you did it another way and just pressed print screen, you might want to paste it to something like Windows Paint, which is the whole of my desktop area. And then you would use the crop tool to just crop in this and um, an area of the cliffs then you save it, save it, save it as a file and then uh, you know I'm even fed up actually explaining it to you quite honestly because there's a much faster way so what you need to look for in Windows settings keyboard is if you find this thing called the print screen shortcut and it is off obviously turn it on otherwise what you're going to do uh, and this is just as an idea of a full print screen on my desktop where I'm using on the left a 15 inch laptop and on the right a 22 inch is that you'll find that you'll you'll get this whole area on a normal print screen I'll show, show you how that works we can go here and we can say settings and you'll find something called the print screen shortcut you and this is and this is why the picture of the goose and the golden le egg up here is because if this goose lays a golden egg as a gift in this way what you'll find is the print screen shortcut um, when it's on use the print screen button to open screen snipping I'll be honest didn't know what it was really didn't care too much turned it on my life has changed I'll tell you why because what happens is that um, there's another version here and that is a secondary clipboard history you may wish to turn on to save multiple items to the clipboard to use later. Super, super useful if you're doing your homework or you're doing a business assignment, whatever, and you need to do this, repeat, repeat, repeat. So with this clipboard history, you can instantly hit the Windows logo key plus V, and then you can see what is in your history. One of the, the, the weird question marks I've got top right is that where it says uh, when you copy something in Windows, obviously it goes to the clipboard, but Where's it copied? Is it just on your desktop or is it in the web or or is it both? It obviously works in Google Slides. I'm not going to question it. And it is a delightful thing because it saved me a bucket load of time. So when you get this set up and you hit the print screen on your keyboard, then what happens is there's a top right, uh, center thing opens up, which is a rectangle idea, a free form or the full screen. And all, all I was doing uh, or I'd do rather as if I was doing it, I'd hit print screen and then I'd get the uh, rectangle in this case and I would drag over this area and I'd literally release and it's in my clipboard, it's done and off we go. Um, just as an example, here's my desktop and if you hit the Windows logo key plus the V, you get this thing pop up on the right hand side and then you can scroll through. I don't use it, but I think it could be useful if you forget something or you want to go to you know one or two screens back because you've made a mistake or want to um, correct things. So what you'll find on Windows right now, and I'm using Windows 10, is this thing called Snip and Sketch. Didn't pay much attention to it. It still don't actually, but it is a component of my pasting to Google Slides, I believe. So it looks like that. And in the settings, when you click up on the three dots on the top right, 
notice that on my setting it's auto copy to clipboard which is I think really important because I think if you turn it off it don't work and then there's another thing here it says use the print screen button to open screen snipping you see in the way that Windows is working in combination so if you did paste something into this snip and sketch you've got loads of pens and rulers and colors and bits and bobs uh, which I've just a demo this is an aside because some people on Windows might find that if you search you've still got the snipping tool which um, gives a message to say the snipping tool is moving it's now called try snip and sketch similarly if you're still using the snipping tool uh, you have got freeform rectangular and full screen and things this is just background information to send you on your way if you do this by the way it will paste images into other things here's my windows wordpad and you can see there's a full screen and a snip I think I'm going to say one other thing and that is that if you do a free form in my limited test don't hardly use it when you paste it you get this white border around the outside which may be really useful I'm not sure that you can change the color of the border or if you start to do a rectangle on a white background then it could look very interesting obviously not this image because it's a test um, what else that was YouTube forward slash Mike Downs which is obviously me I am not a goose but if I had a golden egg I would say thank you for this whole deal uh, which was what was it called uh, he says doing a screen watch him call it how to print the screen to Google Slides that's why I wanted to do it because my life has got pretty fast in my opinion see you later